Magandang hapon po sa lahat. We are back again sa ating online worship with Evangel Family Church. Magandang hapon po sa lahat. NCTPM, Channel 5 and 6, sila po na nanonood ngayon sa and nakikinig sa kanilang mga radio 106.1. Live po tayo sa ating Facebook. Yes, so you can uh, start to send in your greetings and also your prayer requests. Especially po, we welcome po sa mga prayer requests po natin ngayong hapon nito. Kasi alam po po na si God ay willing po siya na sumagod po sa lahat ng ating mga dalangin ngayong hapon nito. And before that, we will come to worship the Lord this afternoon. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we welcome you, Lord, in this place, O oh God. We want to worship you, Lord, in spirit and in truth, Lord. Bless all of our viewers and our listeners, O oh God. Thank you, Lord, that you are going to do something in our lives today. For we know that as we seek your presence, O oh God, is the Lord, that you will also bless us, O oh God. With your mighty presence, O God, Lord, this afternoon. Thank you so much, O God. We trust the whole meeting in the hands of God. In Jesus' name, let me pray. Amen. Hello, everyone. It's worship our guys this afternoon. Let's sing the song, One Thing Remains.
that our thoughts matter when you are sick or kung ano man yung hinihingi po natin sa ating Panginoon. So, tandaan po natin that God, no, ang Panginoon po natin, create po tayo as like trying beings. So, spirit, meron po tayong spirit, meron din tayong soul, at meron din tayong body. So, mga kaibigan, uh, mga kapatid, you are a spirit, you have a soul, and you live in a body. So, each part of us daw, we are affects the others. So, yung ba body daw natin is like an automobile na kung saan ang Panginoon na provides for us to drive around this world. So, siguro sa inyo dyan, merong mga dinaramdam, no, like, what, uh, like you are sick, no, meron mo daw kayong sakit ngayon, or meron kayong pinagdadaanan sa buhay. So, sabi ng Panginoon that our thoughts will affect everything. No, kung ano yung iniisip natin, yun daw yung makaka-apekto po daw sa atin. So, if you want them to perform, no, yung maximum ability, and be around for a long time, then kailangan natin to choose to think, no? kailangan natin isipin in ways that will help them, no? kung ano yung makakatulong sa atin. So ang truth po na sinasabi dito is that all our thoughts, lahat po ng mga gaganda at mga masasama, nakaka-apekto sa ating physical na, na pakiramdam. So science, so sabi nga sa science, pinuve na po dito that positive and hopeful thoughts increase energy, whereas no mga negative, hopeless ones nakaka-drain po. So si Lord po nag-re-remind sa atin na kailangan po natin maging positibo sa buhay. No, kung sino man yung mga may problems, kung sino man dyan ang merong mga kinaharap yung mga may sakit, lalo lalo na sa may mga sakit, yung pong pag-iisip natin, kailangan natin maging positibo. Dahil ang pagiging positibo, yan po ay nakakadagdag sa atin ng energy. At yung pagiging hopeless po, if you think na wala nang pag-asa, it will drain us our energy. So sabi nga dito, we need to think, let's speak the word of God. Because if we think and speak His word, it's, it breathes life into our situation. Whatever your situation, mga kaibigan, no, ano man yung sitwasyon na kinakaharap mo ngayon, think and speak the word of God. When we're sick, no, kung meron may sakit dyan, gusto ng enemy na isipin mo yung mga wala na akong pag-asa, no, sabihin ng enemy mo na wala well, hindi ka na maaayos yung buhay mo, maging ganun na lang, Pero sabi ng Panginoon, no, sabi, sabi ng Panginoon that you are going to work out kung iisipin natin ang word ng Panginoon. No, sabi dyan, no, sabi dito, however, one of the ways that uh, we should learn is to stop the wrong thoughts. No, kung ano man yung mga thoughts natin, iisip natin, stop it. Dahil sabi ng Panginoon, you will be healed. Amen? I-heal po tayo ng Panginoon and sabi niya dito, we need to have the right thoughts from God's Word. Right now, according to Hebrews 4.12, sabi niya, the Word that God speaks is alive and full of power. Kung ano man yung inahawakan ninyo na Word ni God, ano man yung inahawakan na promise ninyo, ni, ni Lord para sa inyo, then hold it. Because sabi sa Hebrews 4.12, the Word that God speaks is alive and full of power. Thinking and speaking this word breathes life into our situation. Na sabi ka nga doon sa, sa word or sa, sa mga bundong bagay na when you are hopeless na daw, you will never be. Wala lang pag-asa. Pero sabi ng Panginoon, meron pang pag-asa. Amen? Let's think and say, God, I know that you love me. Amen? Kung sino man yung nanunood ngayon, nakikinig sa kanilang mga radio, think and say, God, I know that you love me. I believe that all things, naniniwala po ako, Panginoon, na lahat ng bagay, no, lahat ng bagay ay mag-work out for good 
Amen? It will turn, no God will turn our bad situation into excellent situation. At kung sino man yung nagmamahal, no? And call according to your purpose. I will put my trust in you. And I will not fear. Hindi ako matatakot. No? Sabihin mo ngayon, mga kaibigan, na hindi ako matatakot dahil ang aking trust ay nasa Panginoon. Amen? So no matter what kind of sickness you are fighting right now, even the doctor will say na hindi ka na magagaling, no? sasabihin ng doctor na uh, gaganyan, ganyan na talaga, meron tanging ang buhay mo. Pero sabi ng Panginoon, ini-encourage tayo ni God to focus on things that are positive and full of hope from God's Word. Ang Panginoon, sa Panginoon, walang imposible. Lahat ay posible. And that's the word of the Lord today. Naisipin mo na ang Panginoon ang inyong karamay. Amen? Na ang Panginoon ang siyang yung gabay at ang Panginoon ang siyang mag-heal sa iyo. Think, na isipin mo, I am blessed and I'm getting stronger every day. Yes? No, kung sino man dyan may sakit ng cancer, kung sino man dyan ang may sakit na siguro diabetes, no? sabi, sabi, sinasabi na it will run to the blood, no? meron mang iniisip mo na, ala, ito, may high blood ng family ko, yung generation ko, merong, merong may background kami na magkasakit kami ng diabetes, I trust the Lord. Amen? God will cut those generational curses. And the word says here, God will renew my strength. No, put it in your heart and your mind that the Lord will always renew our strength. Let's receive the healing because Jesus died to take away sickness and disease. Katandaan niyo po mga kaibigan, no, mga mahal, mahal na mahal po tayo ng Panginoon. He died on the cross. He already paid that no, na, na pay na po ng ating Panginoon kung ano man yung klaseng sakit na yan. Hallelujah. God has a great plan for your life. Mayroong pong plano ang ating Panginoon sa ating buhay. And he, you will be expecting great things for your future. Amen? So God, the, the enemy will lie to you. But the Lord is true to His God, but the Lord is true to His words. Amen. Na ang Panginoon ay true sa kanyang kanyang word na kung saan something good is going to happen into our lives. Amen. So this time, no hold it, hold the promise of God. Na kung saan di ba, the Lord can heal. When the Lord could heal before, still the si Lord makakahil siya. Now and forever. Amen? Because Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So, tandaan mga kaibigan, whatever you're thinking right now, isipin mo na ang Panginoon ang iyong kabay, isipin mo na ang Panginoon ang iyong healer this afternoon. Yes, so God, as first of the Lord, this song, all I can say is thank you. Let's give thanks to the Lord as I've been this version of you.
so blessed with what you have heard from many coming messages after Lord. And sabi niya po, ano man yung iniisip natin, ano man yung nasa puso natin ngayon, dapat po ay yung mga bagay po na nanggaling sa salita ng Panginoon. And it says here in Hebrews 4 verse 12, that the word that God speaks is alive and full of power. So yun ang tip po natin na salita ng Panginoon is very powerful. And ano man yung mga situation natin ngayon na imposibling bagay po, gagawin po yan yung God na posible po sa ating mga buhay. So huwag po tayong mawala ng pag-asa, huwag po tayong mag-surrender, huwag po tayong mag-give up. Ngayong hapon na ito, ikaw man ngayon ay nakinig sa iyong radio or nanood sa FB or sa NCTVN, sa iyong TV ngayon, hindi po ito aksidente. God has a purpose why na nakita mo itong programa na ito ngayong hapon na ito. So, renew your mind, renew your heart, renew your thinking. We need to activate the promises of God by thinking all those positive things, all those promises of God na binigay niya po sa atin. So, ngayong hapon na ito, we just want to pray for all the sick people and for all of you. Meron po mga pangailangan so, naniwari po kami mga kapatid that God can touch you wherever you are right now. So, let us pray. I believe for God to touch you this afternoon. Hallelujah. So, all of us, let's raise up our hands as our uh, way of surrender to the Lord. Hallelujah. Panginoon, lumalapit po kami sa iyo ngayong hapon na ito. Maraming salamat po, Panginoon, sa iyong salita namin na napakinggan, O oh God. Salamat po, Lord, sa iyong mga promises, O oh God. And Lord, help us, O oh God, to renew that uh, thinking, O oh God. Renew that mind, O oh Lord God. Renew that heart, O oh Lord God. And sometimes, Lord, punong-punong po ng mga negative, O oh God. Lord, pagbuhin mo po kami, Panginoon. And help us, O oh God, to uh, remember all your promises, O oh God. Instead of complaining, instead of God of murmuring, Lord, help us, O oh God, Lord, to remember all your promises. Because, Lord, Ikaw po, Panginoon, ay uh, totoo sa iyong mga pangako, O oh God. So right now, I pray, O oh God, for the sick people right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, they shall be healed, O oh God. Sa lahat po ng may pananampalataya sa iyo, Panginoon, Lord, hindi mo po ang mga mga panalangin, O God, ngayong nga po na ito. Hipuin mo po sila, Panginoon. Touch them right now, O God. Thank you, Lord. And I pray for those who want, O God, to receive you, Lord God, as your Lord and Savior. Lord God, come to their hearts, O God. And thank you for the spirit of humbleness, O God. Lord, thank you so much for writing their names in the book of life, O God. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise, O God, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Maraming salamat po sa lahat po na nanood sa amin ang huli. God, we bless you more and more. And we are praying for your uh, prosperity. We are praying for your breakthrough. We are praying for your success po. Maraming salamat po sa amin dito. Let's continue to watch po next Sunday ulit sa aming live worship with Evangel Family Church. So this afternoon, let's go back to our studio. <laughs>